Let's discuss proportions. What is a proportion? A proportion is a statement that has two equal ratio. In the previous session, we discussed what ratios are. We said ratio is a method of comparing two numbers. Now we're going to take the two ratios and see if they are equal. One should be equal to the other. In a sense, when we use proportion, we try to make things equal. Or we try to make things to be fair. Okay. Let's look at this example. Nail and label sells hair product for the total profit of 50,000. The profit is shared according to their ratio of number of products they sold. Label sold 15 and Nail sold 32 products. How much should each receive? If we go back to that statement, it tells us that Nail and Label sold those products and made a profit of about 50,000 rand. But both of them didn't sell the same quantity of products. Label sold 15, Nail sold 32. It's not going to be fair to take the 50,000 and divide it equally between Label and Nail because we know that Nail worked so much harder. To make things equal and make sure that each and every one of them receives an equal proportion of their profit, we have to calculate their ratio. 15 plus 32 equals to 47. These are the total products sold. Total products that they both sold. They were 47. So we're going to calculate the ratio of each and every one of them based on the total profit. Let's first calculate the ratio for label. So how much will label receive? We first need to calculate the ratio, which is 15 over or 15 divided by 47. The ratio of label to total product is 15 over 47. But we have to multiply that with the total profit because we want to get the ratio and that ratio we multiply it with the 50 so that we can know how much label will receive. And label will receive only 15 1957 and we can do the same for nail nail sold 32 so it, the ratio for nail to total product will be 32 divided by 47 multiply that with the 50,000 and nail will receive 34,000 and 42 rand and they will both receive an equal proportion of the amount that they sold. For calculating the ratio. Let's say Mary is a street hawker. She buys a box of 48 Frito Zimba chips. In that box, it contains 48 Frito Zimba chips. And she buys that for 58 rand at the giant's store. Then she goes on a train and she sells this two packets of Frito Zimbas for 5 rand. She sells two packets for 5 rand. So it means she makes a combo. But we need to know how much profit did she make after selling everything from the box to do that we can use the ratio and find out how much one packet actually cost so we're going to calculate the ratio of two packets of zimba chips 
to five rand the cost. And that will be two divide two divide by five rand, which means for every one packet of chips, she sells it two rand fifty cents. Okay. Now we know that a packet is two rand fifty. We can take the two rand fifty multiplied by the total packet of chips that are in the box. If she sold everything, she would have made two point two rand fifty multiplied by forty eight gives us hundred and twenty. To calculate the profit, which we want to know. We're going to use the formula revenue minus cost because we know the formula for profit is how much you sold minus how much you bought for. So she sold everything, 48 packets of Zimba chips, and she made 120 rent revenue. A giant, she bought a packet, that box of 48 Fritos chips for 58 rand. That is the cost. So we're going to subtract our cost from our revenue. And that will give us the profit of 62. This is one way of calculating the profit using the ratio. The other way you can use is this method. If we know that the ratio of selling two is to five, so two packets cost five rent, two is to five, so the ratio of the quantity to price is two, two, two is to five, then what will be the ratio of all total part, uh, Zimba chips, what will to the cost of Zimba chips, the total sale of Zimba chips. And we don't know the total sale of all Zimba chips. So we need to calculate that, which is our X. Then we're going to make X the subject of the formula by multiplying with X this side and multiplying with X that side. Remember, what you do on the right, you must do on the left. So if we multiply by x, let me use another shade. We're going to use the darker green. So if I multiply this side by x, I must do the same here by x. Therefore, the x and the x will cancel out this side, and we will be left with 48 on this side. In this side, you will have x times 2, which is 2x. But we also have the 5 to save. We need to get rid of the 5. So I will use another color. We'll use the purple. If I multiply this side by 5 and multiply this side by 5, the 5 this side and the 5 that side will cancel and this side will be left with the 5. And that is why I will have 2x times 2, which gives us 2x is equals to 5 times 48 or 48 times 5. And that's when we when we do the cross multiplication. And now we need to make x the subject of the formula. So it means we need to be remaining with x on one side, on the left hand side, and we remove 2 and divide it on the other side on the right hand side so we do that by dividing by two this side dividing by two two and two will cancel out and you'll be left with x is equals to five times 48 is 240 divide by two and that will give you 120 and we still do the same formula for profit it's revenue minus cost and we know that the revenue is 120 minus the cost of 58 rand, and we still receive the same amount of 62.